So on one of my videos on TikTok, a family member of Laksa Mania reached out to me and it was one of the restaurants that I really wanted to try. I asked if we could collaborate and see the process of making Laksa. And so nice of them, they actually accepted it. But I did not know the prep time would take this long that starts at 5 a.m. until 12. I'm here at 6.10 now and we're gonna go see how they make the laksa soup base and then we're actually going to try laksa in the morning. So let's get going and see the amazing laksa mania. Welcome to Malaysia. When Laksa Mania, which is Uncle Hi, Roger's yeah. favorite Malaysian restaurant in London, reached out to me about visiting their restaurant, I was more than thrilled. Before I went to Laksa Mania, I saw our chef Danny stirring the soup, and I really, really wanted to see the behind the scenes of Laksa Mania. Thankfully, the team let me go behind the scenes, but I had to go no later than 6 in the morning when Danny starts preparing the soup. When I went to Laksa Mania, Danny was already there at 5 a.m. preparing. He was waiting for me to come so he could start creating the magic of Laksa. One thing we don't see about restaurants and food is that the behind the scenes of how much passion, energy, and the time the chef put into making one dish. Laksa is a spicy noodle soup from Malaysia but also in a lot of Southeast Asia like Singapore and Indonesia. There are many different types of laksa but there are two that are really popular in UK. Penang asam laksa which is made of fish broth or curry laksa which is of course made out of coconut curry soup which I normally get. But Danny recommended Malacca curry laksa. It smells so nice. <laughs> Maleka laksa is a laksa originated from Malacca and is known to be the OG of laksa. This laksa is a seafood based broth with coconut milk added. It gives the soup a creamy sweet flavor with a spicy kick. It felt like a combination of asam and curry laksa. I don't know why but growing up in New York, you don't really see as much Malaysian restaurant compared to London. But after trying it at CNR and falling in love with laksa, I tried many different places like Fafak Roti King and Rasa Sayang. But laksa mania was so good and I could see why Uncle Roger said it was the best. And I also said it is one of the best because Uncle Roger said so. I am kidding. But most Malaysian restaurants have limited laksa dishes. But here at Laksa Mania with 10 different types of laksa to hawker food style dishes from Malaysian lamb and chicken skewer, chicken wings to soft shell crab, and our awesome chef's favorite char Q2, which is a stir fry noodle dish with sausage, egg, and bean sprouts. Everything was so delicious. I felt like I wanted to travel to Malaysia just to experience the food. Again, to try the different types of laksa. Honestly, I love all the other restaurants too, but I felt like Laksa Mania really nailed down on representing the Malaysian culture and food. 